Differential amplifier is a type of amplifier that has two inputs and one output. It amplifies the difference between two input signals and eliminates the common mode signal between the two input signals. The output voltage of differential amplifier is proportional to the difference of inverting and non-inverting input signals. In general application, differential amplifier can be used to act as volume control circuit, automatic gain control circuit, and it is also used for amplitude modulation. There are three operation modes of differential amplifier that are common mode input signal, small differential input signal, and large input signal. For the methodology part, basically there are two types of method that being used for this assignment. The first one is on the analysis of the large signal and most differential amplifier. So the lecture notes on large signal and most differential amplifier are being referred to understand the operation and the large signal characteristic of and most differential amplifier. Besides that, websites on the internet are being reviewed to find additional information on large signal and most differential amplifier. The second method is the derivation for large signal and most differential amplifier. After the understanding on the fundamental of the operation and large signal characteristic of NMOS differential amplifier, the knowledge is being applied to derive the input and output transfer function, minimum differential input voltage value, differential mode current float, and common, common mode configuration of PMOS differential amplifier. Then, the difference of large signal characteristic between NMOS and PMOS differential amplifier are being discussed and compared under the discussion subtopic. Now let's see the large signal analysis derivation. The first part is differential mode configuration input output transfer function. Okay, this is the circuit for the P-channel input differential amplifier. Okay, for the first equation, we can get that Vx equal to Rd ISS1. And equation 2, we get Vy equal to Rd ISS2. Okay, for equation 3, we got V in 1 minus VGS1 equal to VP. And for, for the equation 4, V in 2 minus VGS2 equal to VP. X differential output where equation 1 minus equation 2 where Vx minus Vy we got that Rd times ISS1 minus ISS2 then since 3 equal to 4 so we got the equation for V in 1 minus V in 2 equal to Vgs1 minus Vgs2 so we got that equation then when we arrange back we got the equation for V in minus V in 2 square we got that equation node P which is ISS2 equal to ISS minus ISS1 we got the equation for V in 1 minus V in 2 square next we square both sides to obtain a quadratic equation solve the quadratic equation then we write ISS1 in term of V in 1 minus V in 2 and find ISS2 okay, we got the equation for ISS1 minus ISS2 then we plug into the equation number 5 which is Vx minus Vy we got that equation okay vx minus vy equal to zero when v in one equal to v in two if v in one minus v in two is very large as we get the negative value minimum differential input voltage value so that is the circuit for p channel input differential amplifier to find the input output voltage transfer equation the concept of turning on and off one transistor is used Note that when VGS equal to VDN, ID is equal to zero, which is ID equal to half mu and COX, W over L, VGS minus VT square. So the first equation is V in 1 minus VGS1 equal to VP, and second equation V in 2 minus VGS2 equal to VP. Where next, differential output again, 1 minus 2, we got V in 1 minus V in 2 equal to VGS1 minus VGS2. Two cases here. In case of M2 is off, ISS1 equal to ISS and VGS2 equal to VDN. So since only M1 is on, ISS equal to half mu NCOX W over L VGS1 minus VT square. Since VGS1 equal to that equation, then we can plug in that equation to get the V in mean positive. This, which is M1 is off, ISS2 equal to ISS and VGS1 equal to VDN. Since only M2 is on, ISS equal to half mu N0 X W over L VGS2 minus VT2. So that equation for VGS2, we can plug it into that equation for ISS. Then we got the V in minimum negative value.
The third part which is differential mode current plots. V in 1 and V in 2 are connected between different polarities of an input voltage source such that V in equal to V in 1 equal to V in 2. So it is necessary to analyze what happens when the value of V in is different. For the P channel input differential amplifier, when V in is negative, M1 will be turning off where ISS1 equal to 0 and Vx equal to VDD and M2 will be turning on where, where ISS2 equal to ISS and Vy equal to VDD minus ISSRD. When V in is positive, N1 will be turning on ISS1 equal to ISS and Vx equal to VDD minus ISSRD. Then M2 will be turning off ISS2 equal to 0 and Vy equal to VDD. The last part which is common mode configuration, both V in 1 and V in 2 are shorted and connected to a common mode input voltage source. Again, that is the circuit for P channel input differential amplifier with input voltage shorted. We know that VGS1 equal to VGS2 equal to V in common mode minus VP. So for the overdrive voltage of M1 and M2, ISS over 2 equal to half mu N zero X omic W over L times VGS1 minus VTN square then we arrange back we, we got that half mu N0 X W over L VGS2 minus VTN square since VGS1 equal to VGS2 so we can derive that square root ISS over mu N0 X W over L plus VTN recall that V overdrive equal to VGS minus VTN so V overdrive 1 equal to V overdrive 2 equal to square root ISS over mu N zero X W over L next lastly for the output voltage Vx and Vy ISS over 2 equal to Vx over RD equal to Vy over RD so Vx equal to Vy equal to RD ISS over 2 so it can be concluded that the change in value of input common mode voltage causes no difference in the circuit except the voltage at not P due to change in output. So the differential pair is in electrically symmetric.